Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your spiritual advice and spirit guide messages for September 2018. This uh, tarot reading is going to help you see where you are at on your spiritual path, give you messages from your spirit guides um, about just, you know, other situations in your life where you may need some clarity. So... Sagittarius, let's see what's going on for you guys in September spiritually. All right, orbs of light. So listen here, Sagittarius. You guys are receiving a lot of messages from your spirit guides, okay? Um, and this coming through September is going to be filled with messages and signs and synchronicity, okay? And um, the important thing to remember about signs and synchronicity is sometimes we can be so set on what we want or the way we think things are supposed to happen that as we receive signs synchronicity, we're mistaking what they are. We're, you know, projecting them to be a confirmation of what we want. And, you know, anything that's contradictory, we shut out. So, you know, this is where the law of attraction really comes into play, is if you want what you want and that's all that's on your mind, then that's going to be very much projected in your external reality. And you're going to see a lot of evidence of that thing. So therefore, you might take that as a sign or synchronicity that it's a yes, when in fact, you're only seeing your inner self reflecting back to you in the outer world. And you are receiving messages messages and other signs that are contradictory, you know, but you might be ignoring them. So, and that's just an example that does not apply to everybody. Okay. I just, there's some of you out there that, um, like you need to hear that, uh, and recognize that what's really going on inside of you is going to be projected externally and you're going to see evidence of that and if that's the case if nothing else it should tell you okay yeah this is where my vibe is at 100 percent for sure but if it's about like a specific person or a manifestation um or, you know, that you are not ready for, you'll see the evidence all day long because that's what's going on inside of you. But until your energy is truly ready and in alignment, it's not going to happen. So keep that in mind. But ultimately with this card, there is a lot of messages being given to you from your spirit guides, um, especially in the month of September. So be sure to pay very close attention, Sagittarius. So let's uh, gain some more information about this. What are they trying to tell you? Where are they trying to, you know, give you guidance and clarity? All right. And all decks I'm using are listed in the description box below if you are curious. All right, look at that. We have the veils parting. Yes. This is truths coming in, deep truths um, about just you, your life, different situations. But uh, some of you, this is, goes far, far deeper where this is like the veil between worlds. And you are seeing, you know, beyond and you might not recognize that because it doesn't look the way that you thought it would. Um, you think it's your own thinking you know, your own ideas, all of that, you don't realize that you are in communication with the other side. So in September, you know, these veils are really going to part and you're going to see deeper truths, uh, especially in your spiritual beliefs and understandings, expect a big expansion in that area. And also, um, I just feel like some of you are asking for something that is not in your highest good and that's why I um, really felt the urge to express the difference in signs and synchronicities and the law of attraction. Um, it's like if you take a step back and you take your grip off what it is you want to happen, the veil will part and you will see the entire picture, the whole truth, okay? So keep that in mind. Yeah, look at that clouds, signs and visions. 
So this is a beautiful synchronicity with the orbs. Yes, Sagittarius, you are being given so many signs and synchronicities, messages from your spirit guides. Um, and what this is about is different. Some of you, this is 100% about your spiritual journey and spiritual path. Um, some of you, this is, you know, where you're getting comfortable um, with your spiritual awakening and connecting with spirit and communication. Others of you, this is about a certain situation or relationship in your life where I don't feel that you're seeing things for exactly what they are. Um, you're kind of blinded by your own perception and um, desired outcome. And this is like your spirit guide saying, listen, Sagittarius, we'll show you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but, but you have to be open and willing to see that. Um, for others of you, like I said, deep, deep spiritual stuff happening here. Um, really pay attention all through September. Signs, synchronicities, confirmations. In fact, write them down and you will start seeing a pattern or a message develop, okay? Because some of you are newer at this and you're trying to understand the language of spirit, the language of energy. And, um, you know, September is like a big time expansion in your consciousness in this area. Oh, and look at this. Nice. So we have the rose. Love and healing. Beautiful. Um, so Sagittarius, anything, um, any situation that you've been, you know, struggling with, um, self-love, healing the past, trying to understand different things and why they played out the way they did, and for others of you, it, again, it's this thing like that you really want so bad. And, uh, you know, just take a step back. All things come in divine timing. Um, there's some healing being offered to you by your spirit guides. And if this is about a very specific relationship, Sagittarius, um, there's going to be a lot of truth revealed in September. But more than that, your uh, perception of that relationship, what it means to you, all of that is going to have a huge overhaul. And there's love and healing here, whether it's a love and healing for self and what has been and release, or it's like the restoration between you and this relationship. Um, and I feel like this is more of like a family connection, like um, between uh, like a mother and child, father and child, um, maybe a sibling. It's just something very near and dear to the heart. It could be a romantic tie, but uh, this really feels more like family, friend, um, and the situation that has caused you great pain, Sagittarius, was to essentially crack you open because this is what is ahead for you. The veils are parting and there's some spiritual evolution that needed to take place for you in order for you to be ready for this right here, okay? And now here you are at that juncture and it's time for healing and understanding and release. And uh, your spirit guides are just like, walking with you and trying to show you every step of the way through signs and synchronicities. I mean, we have orbs of light and signs and visions, okay? Um, and with signs and visions, really pay attention to your own insights that are coming to you. You are more right than you know, okay? So let's uh, get some clarity on these cards here. All right. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. What did I say? Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Yes. So, Sagittarius, um, whatever you guys have been going through, it's been preparing you for September, okay? There's this awakening happening. Some of you, this is like you're just now having your spiritual awakening. Others of you are newer on your path. Some of you are, are very seasoned, okay? Um, but if you, it doesn't matter if you're seasoned. It's like there's this expansion taking place, okay? And if this isn't about your spiritual journey, this is about a situational relationship. And this coming out is saying, Sagittarius, 
there is an awakening here. You're, the veils are parting. You're seeing things for what they really are. Um, even if it's not what you were hoping for or wanting, it's like the truth is right before you. Do not discount your own intuition or, you know, what is being revealed to you through sign synchronicity and confirmation. All right. Next we have um, Warrior Woman. If you weren't afraid, what would you do? <clears throat> so this coming out is saying, you know, don't let your fear of the unknown um, or going it alone hold you back or keep you stagnant. Um, you know, this could be where you have belonged to a very specific religion your whole life, but you're having this spiritual awakening and it completely what you're feeling and what you're growing into completely contradicts um, the religion that you were brought up in. And, you know, this is saying if you weren't afraid, if, if this wasn't such a part of your subconscious mind, would you be afraid to reject it and leave it and move on to this new um, realm of thinking and perceiving and being? Okay, for others of you, this is like where you've got to not be afraid of the truth, whatever the truth is for you in your life, in your situation. Um, also, those of you who are really experiencing this upgrade and expansion in big ways, it might be where, you know, you were intuitive and sensitive, but all of a sudden now you feel like um, you're having passed on beings speak to you and things like that. Like there could just be a lot of um, different stuff taking place that feels very scary and foreign to you. But this is like you have the sword of protection in front of you and there's nothing for you to fear and once you take fear out of the equation there's nowhere you cannot go okay and lastly we have play have fun celebrate don't be so serious and this falls right under you know the love and the healing which tells me that um, you know, as we experience this expansion and, you know, we're seeing all these signs and synchronicities, the veils are parting, the truth is coming to light, um, fear is fading away, the love and the healing comes in. And in this place, it's like we're ending September on a much lighter note, um, you know, a new breath of fresh air. It's I feel like there's a lot of like heavy energy um, being worked out and September is like the release of all of that and that's why we have this expansion and upgrade taking place within ourselves and here by the end you know we're happy we're feeling um, the love the connection from the universe just whatever it is you know for you personally it's healed you're in balance you're feeling good and um, you know those of you on this spiritual journey this is uh, your spirit guide saying look it doesn't have to be all serious you can have fun you can still be human okay don't um, restrict yourself and hold yourself back because you think oh this is not the spiritual way or the spiritual path everybody's spiritual path is different and personal and unique and you know all things in existence and creation are uh, you know come forth from spirit or it could not exist so let's pull um, uh, some more cards to gain more insight all right so we have the giveaway the drum and the Time Master, wow. Sagittarius, listen. Yes, um, everything I've just said here. It's time to let go of your fixed ideas and expectations about how you want something specifically to manifest or play out in your life. And this can be your spirituality um, or how you want to direct that energy into a physical manifestation. It's like, listen release and look at how um, nicely 
matching in color these two are. So we have the giveaway and we have orbs of light. This right here is saying let go of the way you think things need to happen and unfold because they're going to unfold 100% for sure, but you're kind of blocking your own energy by having your grip on it. And um, I just feel like things are going to take some turns that you don't anticipate, but it's like good stuff. It's not scary and bad. It's like take the detour because you're going to really enjoy it, all right? There's healing. There's happiness. There's unexpected joy found there. So, you know, kind of loosen your grip. Also, this is a huge call to the power of your own energy where when you are in gratitude, when you are um, giving and doing without any sort of expectation of return from another person or the universe, um, that changes everything. And, you know, there's a lot of beautiful giving people out there, but I will tell you this over and over, I will hear them say, I do everything for everybody and when I'm in need nobody is there for me and it really bothers me and I don't want to give and I don't want to do well whether or not the person recognizes in the way they're expressing their emotion when they give even though you know they're doing it from a good place there is still this expectation of return whether from that specific person or from the universe and that kind of thinking really screws things up because all is energy all is balanced and there is energy constantly returning to you that you never acknowledge you know that you don't see it for the blessing and the return or you know for maybe the negative energy that returns that you have put out this is saying you know come from an incredibly pure place in all you do and give in September and you know give your love and light very freely this isn't like give your resources away to the point that you're broke no this is give your love and light to all okay and have no expectation of return think of just the day you know being alive that's the gift in itself and yes that's corny but seriously try that for all of September and just watch the way the energy shifts for you okay because the drum is next and that's like getting in tune with the vibration of your path the journey you set forth this lifetime for your soul okay and with the time master really really Sagittarius it's all about divine timing and um, you need to trust that and there's certain steps along your soul evolution your journey that need to take place before certain other things can happen okay um, I can tell you this that like seven years ago I was like I'm gonna um, you know do all this tarot and all this stuff and I was in no way ready um, to take on that much more you know people and readings and everything like that even doing my tarot channel has been a big adjustment and upgrade and there is no way that seven years ago I could have done that okay even when I first started my channel at the end of 2015 like I wasn't ready to really be in the role of having a YouTube channel. Like I suffer a lot of social anxiety and stranger danger. I was going through a lot of things emotionally at the time. You know, I was doing a lot of growing kind of dark night of the soul. And so, yeah, I had my ability to do tarot and I could read for others, but I wasn't ready to be professional to be you know giving all my energy to it there was so many different things that had to happen and so some of you need to really kind of slow down and realize that yes you're a very wise soul and being and you're intuitive psychic you name it but some of you it's like you need to slow your role and recognize that there's evolutions that need to take place in you and within your life before you can get to certain junctures and as you know that you know it, it's comforting so this is like it's all about divine time and um, you becoming the master of that acceptance and working with the cycles of your life rather than pushing against them or trying to rush or hurry things along okay so um, let's add a little bit more native 
spirit energy to this reading. All right, so we have Spirit Keepers of the East. Yes, this is the, you know, spring sun rising after a long winter. I feel like a lot of you are just coming out of like that dark night of the soul phase um, or you just, you're more um, awakened, you know, than you have been in the past. Um, but it's like here, uh, what am I trying to say? How am I trying to get this out? All right, let's start. Those of you coming through Dark Night of the Soul, we are definitely coming out of that in September. By September's end, here is the spring sun finally rising upon you once more, melting all the snow and ice, and we are ready to, you know, expand into the newness. And this could be where here we're giving away our past self, our old life, we are coming into the alignment of, you know, the rhythm of our soul and the time is now. And that to me is like those of you coming out of dark night of the soul, okay? And those of you who have already been through that but you're still newer on your path, this is like that moment that you've been waiting for, that you've been working for, where you are finally expanding much deeper into your spiritual gifts and connection to the non-physical realm. But again, it's like you've got to give away your expectation um, of how you think things should be or work or come to you and fall into alignment with the rhythm of your own soul, okay? And, you know, ha have patience because it's a matter of time. All things take time. And, you know, by the end of September, you're just much more versed in it, okay? Um, those of you who are very seasoned on your path, this is, there is something new opening up for you, and it's going to make you so very happy, okay? Um, and it's like you are ready to give away a certain part of like your routine or the way you were doing things. This might be where some of you are full blown now doing spiritually based practice. And look at this sun here. It's just like this card, this card, and this card. The sun is um, rising again for you, Sagittarius. If this is about um, a relationship or situation, you know, here it is where truth has to come in. We have to see things um, from another perspective. And then in doing so, here comes that spring sun, new growth, healing taking place. We're feeling much happier and lighter by the end of the month. And look at this. We have the medicine bag next. And um, Sagittarius, this is saying that, you know, even though you... Um, Many of you that are watching this are here to give some sort of service to humanity. This is saying not everybody needs to know or see the best parts of you. Not everybody is worthy of that. And there's some people that you really do need to shield yourself from. And I feel like that's like many of you that are in this dark night of the soul or you just moved through that and you're, you know, barely awakened. It's like there's a lot of friendships and situations and relationships that the old you, um, you know, was attached to. And now here you are, this different person, and you're kind of struggling. Do I let that go? It doesn't really fit on me anymore, you know. Um, and this is like, yeah, you need to let that go and let more like minded individuals come into your reality. Also, this is saying that um, many of you, you need to find objects that you really resonate with spiritually that pull you into that place of focus where you are connected um, to the spirit world. Okay, so what we're going to do here is, um, this is just the final card of the reading, and it's just a little bonus message to gain a hair more insight and clarity for you guys. But with medicine bag and love and healing, again, to me, they're, by the end of September, Sagittarius, all of you are in a much better place. There's great sunshine washing over you in the um, month of September. So look at this. We have the wishbone affirmation. And this is the card that was actually a little jumpy when I first started shuffling. Okay, so listen, Sagittarius. Yes, there is something new coming. The spring sun is dawning in your world, okay? 
but also with this um, affirmations could really do you guys some good for love and healing or better connecting to your spirit guides in general. Um, you know, there's a lot of meditations on YouTube for that, a lot of affirmation videos. Um, Meditative Mind is a good channel, Power Thoughts Meditation Club is a good channel, and Rockstar Affirmations is a good channel. That will really help you guys out through September, working through whatever energies each and every one of you are dealing with personally. But keep in mind, it's a month of you know, the veils parting, seeing the truth, really understanding the communication between you and your spirit guides, allowing the healing to give in, releasing and giving away whatever doesn't serve you and your life and your spiritual path any longer, okay? The sun is finally dawning and um, it's going to be really nice by the end of September moving into October. So Sagittarius, those are your messages from your spirit guides. I am wishing you all the very best. Take care.